Now that we have decided on our speed and frame size, we need to look at what transmissions we should use, and find out the sprocket sizes to use. We need to look up the speeds and ratios of each type of transmission and motor. For calculating what transmission we need to use, I will be using the JVN calculator. This calculator can be found on Chief Delphi. And the possible transmissions are the VEX Pro 2 SIM ball shifter and the VEX Pro 3 SIM ball shifter. I will use the gear ratios from both of these to find the best one. When you open up the calculator, you will need to specify the motors you are using. We are going to be using the SIM motors because these are the most powerful motors in FRC. In the Specs tab, you can copy the specs from the SIM motor. Then go to the 2 speed transmission tab and paste it in the area for the motor specs. Now you can specify the other things in the specs and parameters area. I will be using two gearboxes and two motors per gearbox. Depending on the wheel you choose, you can specify the coefficient of friction. With the traction wheels, the coefficient is 1.1. The robot weight can stay at 148 for now. Assuming a 120 pound robot, a battery, and bumpers on the robot, this is a good estimate weight. I will not be adjusting the speed loss constant or the drivetrain efficiency here. The next step is to look at the gear ratios we will need. We decided to make the chassis around 10 to 12 feet per second, so let's try and find a combination that will do that. I will try and use the VEX Pro 2 SIM ball shifter first because it will be smaller and lighter. In the General Reductions tab, you need to specify the reductions that will be present while you are in both gears. This will be the 12 to 40 gear ratio from the SIM pinion gear to the first gear in the transmission. Stage 2 will be the chain reduction we do not know yet. In the alternating reduction section, add gears in the low gear and high gear row. For this transmission, that will be 24 to 60 and 40 to 44. Now we can see at the bottom that the speeds of the robot would be 25 and 11 feet per second. The options for the output gears are 12 tooth and 15 tooth sprockets. Let's try the 12 tooth first. Then we can try and select a wheel sprocket. The lowest is 22 tooth. The gear ratio here makes the speed a bit too high. Let's try the next sprocket, 24 tooth. Again, it is too high, so we can try the 26 tooth. The 26 tooth sprocket will work properly, so now we have our sprockets and transmissions we can use for the drivetrain. This calculator can also be used to find the motors and ratios needed for a one speed transmission, rotary mechanism, linear mechanism, and an intake mechanism. I highly recommend you using this spreadsheet while designing your robot. This way you can quickly and accurately make calculations for your robot. 